is our um, first coaches event, um, annual coaches event. We're trying or we want to exceed to do this every year. Dancing and enlightening our parents, our players, as well as our coaches. This is a great event. This is our first annual uh, Potomac Valley Coaches Clinic. Again, I just I appreciate the opportunity to be able to be here and, you know, I love uh, the opportunity to be with other coaches, other basketball minds, so the opportunity today is greatly appreciated. Uh, you know, what we work on today is just stuff that we do at the Masters on a daily basis, anytime we're working out, whether it be preseason, during the season, or postseason, and just to be able to share that and, you know, be around other basketball minds, it's just a pleasure to have the opportunity to do so. Hello, my name is Ayanna Ball Ward. I'm the head girls basketball coach at Largo High School. Today I spoke on defense and the proper positioning for defense. I think defense is a lost art in basketball, period. Uh, a lot of people like to just score the ball and don't think anything about defense, but you got to learn how to play defense in order to win games. You got to be able to stop somebody. Excellent clue. I think when you can have the best coaches in the D.C. metro area get together to share best practices and best strategies for being successful, I think that's always a winner. One of the key takeaways for me today was to learn that the coaches who are successful in our area have systems and have sound philosophies. Sean McAloon, uh, head basketball coach St. John's College High School. As far as what I taught, you know, it's just basically I'm a firm believer in learning how to play as opposed to playing the plays. Um, you, know, you want kids that really know how to play the game, to play correctly with, with five other people out there on the court as opposed to just you know one-on-one. -on -one. This is my 12th year. For my first year, I was more probably about wins, so I was so nervous. But now it's just more about forming uh, and, and, and being a good witness for the kids so they can, they can take that to uh, heart and, and grow with it. If you're good enough, coaches are going to come see you. Over to Britt, boy, a deep three. Got it! Three! Boy, that I'm Britt. Uh, I grew up in this area. You know, being from this D.C. area, we don't get that much support. And we have to support each other. Us, us student athletes need to support each other. And when I was coming up, that's how it was for me. The, the older guys took care of me and looked out for me. And I think this is a good opportunity for us to do it for the younger kids coming up. What was like your emotions when you were like the smallest person on like the court? Well, speaking to the youth, it was a good experience. Um, for me, I'm pretty sure most of us growing up, I don't think we had something like this. So, I mean, it's just good giving back, you know, trying to help those um, who actually want to make and want to put in the work. You know, give them a little guidance on what, what they need to do in order to be successful. So, I mean, I, I just think this is a good event, you know, for the community. and. Um, just, you know, bring kids together that want to, you know, make it and do something special in their lives. It was a great experience, like, it's it good to share back, like, give back to the kids, like how players like Nate Britt and Quinn Cook gave back to me and, and contributed to my success. It was good to give back to them and just give them advice on things that I've done to get my game better. Back to the youth, I thought it was helpful for them because I've always wanted to give feedback and tips to help them expand their game, especially when I was younger. I wish I had like an event like this that could help me. He had to work, but he had to be around others that did the same thing. Not that he was a follower. I just didn't want. I just didn't want him to have any other excuses why not to get it done. Oh man, the parent panel discussion was great. It was so much information that a lot of us parents don't really know. Well, today's event is one of those kind of things where you're just getting started. And you, what we really want for our parents is to get all the information they possibly can and, and to leave here with a little bit more knowledge than what they came in the door with. You know, there, there will come a, a point in time where that basketball is not going to bounce anymore, and, and you got to be able to, to do something else because life is worth it. was a wonderful experience. I look forward to this being, you know, an annual thing every year. Uh, I think that the parents got great insight 
uh, the parents, you know, given the, the advice, their sons were very successful. Uh, and I think it's, it's a great tool to have kids and parents come in and pretty much, you know, see what the path and the foundation is. You know, if the wheel isn't broken, no need to fix it. What stuck was I really enjoyed um, listening to the parents and how they helped, how they made their decision for their child. Um, the things to look for, uh, which I tell my son all the time, you know, you really have to pick a school that's that's for you and just, they kind of gave me confirmation. Country Gardner, work here with the Potomac Valley AAU, uh, more in a finance capacity, however, uh, heavily involved in boys basketball. This is a great event. This is our first annual uh, Potomac Valley Coaches Clinic. The round tables were great. The coaches round table as well as the parents and the players really turned out how we anticipated. Something really insightful that some they were talking about was like it, it really doesn't matter how good you are going into high school, it just matters like how many hours you're putting in, in the gym and like not listening to the outside sounds but trusting and believing who's really in your corner. Today's event was cool because I got to learn about no matter what the rankings are or no matter how good people think or whoever, you, you know who you are. So you can be great at anything. Hi, my name is Melody Britt and I'm the second Lieutenant Governor for Potomac Valley AAU and Chair Boys Basketball. Our goals for today is for one, to offer our members for AAU um, a direction and help with their coaching techniques. So we brought a couple of coaches in from around our WCAC area um, to come in and do a demonstration for our members, for us coaches. And then we have um, round tables for our parents as well as our players to give them some opportunities to speak to parents that have, have gone through this basketball career, have gone through um, the recruiting phases, and just to give them some advice, some hints, some, um, some tidbits on what, what things they should be doing now, what things they should be doing tomorrow, and how to prepare their um, players for the future. My name is Anthony Cowan Sr. Uh, today's event is the Potomac Valley AAU Coaches Clinic. The goal of the event is to expand our membership base within the Potomac Valley region while enhancing and enlightening our parents, our players, as well as our coaches. Um, the format of the clinic is um, on-court demonstrations as well as coaches and players and parents roundtables. So the, round, the, 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 the benefits of the roundtables is an open forum where it gives the interaction between parents, players, and coaches with individuals who have either gone through some of the processes that they're going through, as well as um, sharing their experiences with them. You know, from a parent's perspective, we didn't necessarily want to tell people what they should do or how they should do it, but we want to give them perspective. A different point of view on how you know, they can you know, help their, their, their children or their sons and their daughters achieve their, their athletics and their, their, their academic goals. From a coach's perspective, um, we're hoping that the coaches have some both tangible and intangible takeaways that they can take onto the court for their next practices um, and their interactions with their players. And that's what we ultimately hope to get out of this.